today we are working on uh, chapter 8 uh, programming challenge 5 and this programming challenge is to verify a password is correct or valid or not uh, the valid uh, password according to the de description for this uh, programming challenge is to uh, would have uh, would have at least one uppercase letter at least one uh, lowercase letter and at least one um, a, a one digit. So let's uh, create uh, that uh, class. We'll create a, call, uh, a class called password verifier and it will have a private uh, member and it will have a string. There will be a constructor uh, called password verifier string uh, password this uh, password equal uh, password. Then uh, we have to make sure um, the password has at least one digit first. So we'll say uh, a private a boolean. Uh, it has one uh, one digit. So we'll say count uh, zero, and uh, we will use for loop int i zero i password the length i is incremented by one. Then we'll say if uh, password match and um, we will use quote uh, period star uh, backslash backslash d um, period and star this would uh, catch any any uh, numbers in this string if that is the case then we want to increment the count uh, variable and lastly, at the end of the method, we will say return true only if a count is greater or equal to one. Then we will say uh, public uh, boolean is uh, valid. Then we will create um, uh, two uh, counters, a uh, lower case. A zero and upper case a zero then we will uh, go through uh, the password and we will say if if uh, password uh, char at uh, password I don't know what I'm doing. I will say character is lowercase, then you will say password char at I. So if that's the case, if we find a character that's a lowercase, we would um, increment the lowercase counter. And we basically do the same thing for the lower, uh, low, uh, uppercase. Say is is uppercase, and we will increment the uppercase uh, variable. Then at the end of the uh, is valid uh, method, what we would do is we will say return um, has digit. If that's the, if that's true, and a lowercase is greater or equal to one, and uppercase is greater or equal to one. So in order the password to be correct, those three conditions has to be met. The password has to have at least one digit, at least one lower uh, case letter, and at least one uppercase letter. So we have to create another class to test uh, this class. We will say we will create a class called main, 
and um, we will instantiate uh, the class we'll call uh, pf new password and it will take uh, it will take a string argument the password so let's uh, test uh, incorrect uh, password say uh, password and then we will we will print is uh, let's say we will we will start in a variable and here we will just say password and here we'll say is a password uh, correct then we'll say plus uh, bf dot is valid so let's uh, run the program and see if it's correct or not this, this should return false as you can see, it returns false. Uh, is password correct? So the answer is um, false. Let's give a correct um, password, which has at least one um, uppercase and a lowercase and a digit. We we'll say uh, password one. This should return true. So you can see it, it returns true. How about if we leave uh, the digit? Would it, is it gonna be correct or, or or false? False. How about if we leave out the capital and have a lowercase and a digit? still so it, it works just fine so i think that would be it for this programming challenge uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time